Okay, let's check out this really hard simplifying algebra problem, shall we? Here it is. Okay. Um, I, so I looked at this problem first and I went, I have no idea what's going on here. And it said, okay, simplify, that's all it said. And it looks really complicated. I don't know what the simplified version should look like, but I'm assuming um, it's going to be no negative exponents. So the simplified expression has no negative exponents and everything is simplified as much as it can be. So I looked at this problem and like always when it has to do with simplifying powers I go well I can't solve anything here so I'm not going to use logs but remember that kind of trick I told you about trying to write powers with a smaller base or write powers with a lower base so I noticed 9 and 81 they can both be written with bases of 3 or 9 because 9 is 9 and 81 is 9 squared and 125 well that's 5 cubed because I know that can be written as a power of 5 and 15 well that's neither but it is a power 15 is 5 times 3 and so I just kinda looked at all these and I said well I didn't really know where I was going and I just started working this out and I went well what if I write 9 as 3 squared a plus b and I'll write 125 as 5 cubed a minus b and okay so yep I know 81 is 9 squared but if I already have this 3 it makes life a lot easier with power rules if I have the same base so I'm sure we all know that 81 is 3 to the power of 4. If we don't, well, we should. And, okay, I was like, 15. Well, 15 is 15. There's nothing, I, that I can't write 15 as a, as a base. But I do know that it's 3 times 5, and that little exponent just hangs out on the outside. Okay. Now what did I do? Now I a power to a power gets multiplied. So I multiplied that through, multiplied that through, and I got three, what does this give me? Two A plus two B times and that gets multiplied through. Five three A minus three B. Now, remember, I can't, I can't multiply these two together because they don't have the same base. 3 and 5. I can't multiply this together and make it 15. That's a, that's a big no-no. Uh, power to a power gets multiplied, so that's 3 to the power of 4a. Now, this one, yep, this one takes some work, but when we're doing those power rules, each one of these factors is going to be raised to this power. So it's going to be 3 to this power times 5 to this power. So, okay, 3 to the power of a plus 2b times 5 to the power of a plus 2b. Now, at this point, I, at this point, I didn't even know if I was simplifying or not. I was like, well, right at, at the moment, it's almost looking more complicated than at the start, and it is. But now, at least, I've got these 3s, 3s, and i got these 5s, and I can start working some stuff out is what I found, luckily. Next up, okay, I'm like, well, I can't do anything here, but here, I've got powers with the same base, and when I multiply powers with the same base, I add the exponents. So, rewrite the top part. All right, rewrite the top bit, and down here, what is this? It's not nine, the bases stay the same. And I just add the exponents. Four a plus a plus two b is what, I think, is it 5a plus 2b times this fellow right there, 5a plus 2b. And now I was like, okay, I can simplify this because they're powers with the same base, and I can simplify this because they're powers with the same base. And what do I do when I divide powers with the same base? I subtract the exponents. 
that's what I do. So I'm going to I'm going to look at this problem as kind of like okay, I'm going to do that bit first. And I'm going to get subtract these exponents. 2a minus 5a is negative 3a and 2b minus 2b is nothing. Well, it just cancels out. Okay? And now I subtract these exponents with the same base. 3a minus a is 2a, and I guess this could be the hard part. Negative 3b minus 2b. Negative 3b minus 2b gives me minus 5b. Okay, now here I went, well, that's a lot cleaner than that. I'm getting there. Um, but I can't multiply these two together, so what I did is I went, this has a positive exponent, so I'll leave that on top. And this has a negative exponent, which means it goes on the bottom. I don't know how much more simplified I can get it than that. Now, I think, as far as I know, that's a simplified, the simplified answer for that one. What it I would say it would say leave with positive exponents, sure. So it's negative, because otherwise it could accept the second to last answer. 